What's up everybody? Once again, it is time for Funko News. This edition of Funko News was recorded on March 24th, 2024. The 18-inch Boba Fett with Chase is available right now on Funko.com. It did not sell out, so you can still grab that if you're interested, especially if you're trying to go for that Chase. The Fanatics exclusive Usos 2-pack is available right now. That's another item that did not sell out. I know the Hall of Fame figures have been very popular. This Usos 2-pack maybe not drawing quite as much attention there, so maybe that's why it's still listed. The NFL Legends that I shared with you all in the last Funko News video are available right now. These are common figures that you can find with various retailers, so you can check in stores, but they're available on websites as well. And there are some other items hitting stores and showing up on websites that I don't have shown right here, like the latest One Piece Pops, uh, the Wizard of Oz Pops, the Harley Quinn figures. I actually do have the Harley Quinn figures. I will be unboxing those on the channel very soon. But yeah, just kind of check around and, and see what's available right now. There is a lot out there. As far as Loungefly is concerned, they have some new Harry Potter mini backpacks that are available on their official website. There are the Amazon exclusive Lord of the Rings products that does include a mini backpack, a wallet, and also a pin set. And then with Box Lunch, they do have an ex exclusive Chopper mini backpack. Last time I checked the website, I did not see it listed there, uh, but you can check for that in store with Box Lunch. Some other items to be on the lookout for do include the T-Pain pop. He actually shared this in a video on his social media accounts. And T-Pain has had some pretty distinct looks over the years, so I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up with more than one figure. There's also the metallic Super Bowl Shakira that is on the way. The Hot Topic exclusive Hello Kitty with Mimi Chase is on the way. And that had been rumored. We didn't know what the Chase was going to be, but yeah, it's going to be a Mimi Chase. There's also the Hot Topic exclusive Annie and Crystal from Attack on Titan that is on the way. That was just recently uh, revealed. I did not see this listed on the website just yet, but should be on the way very soon. And then with uh, Five Below, remember they have different sets of earbu earbuds based on different characters, and there is a pair based on Groot. GameStop has some new exclusives that are available for pre-order. This does include the Phase 2 501st Clone Trooper, which will have a late May release. Banjo-Kazooie, this had been rumored for a while, we have this Banjo-Kazooie cover that is available for pre-order and that will have a mid-May release. And then Kerrigan from StarCraft has a late May release. Now I do want to point out because just like with the Pokemon figures, I see some people spreading misinformation. Um, people are saying that, oh, maybe the, the Banjo-Kazooie figure signals um, Nintendo figures being on the way. Banjo-Kazooie is not owned by Nintendo. They did publish the game, but that game was developed by Rare that created the characters. And then Rare was brought out by Microsoft. So if there was going to be a new Banjo-Kazooie game, it would probably show up on Xbox systems. So do keep that in mind. Banjo-Kazooie is not a Nintendo property necessarily. They don't own Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, it was the same deal with Pokemon. Pokemon is actually owned by the Pokemon company, even though they've done a lot of work with Nintendo. So I just want to put that out there, and I hate to be the bearer of bad news for people that got a little bit hyped about that, but um, do keep in mind that Funko has reached out to Nintendo previously, and Nintendo has not shown an interest in working with Funko. I, I'm not saying that it could never happen, but at this time, right now, there are no plans for Nintendo figures from Funko, and that's really on Nintendo, not Funko themselves. Like I said, they have made that effort. Nintendo is not interested. Moving forward here, the Target exclusive Blacklight Daredevil figures will become available for pre-order as of March 25th, and that might be when a lot of you are checking this out. I do like some of these designs here. I could definitely see myself getting the um, Fall from Grace Daredevil. Um, I also like the comic cover. I think that's pretty cool looking, and I like that it has the the um, like onomatopoeia going on there with the word push, you know, him landing. That is pretty awesome looking there, and I actually like the Jumbo um, Daredevil as well. So those three I may possibly add to my collection i'm not as super crazy about the other ones there but uh, let me know your thoughts about these particular blacklight figures and just how do you feel about blacklight in general there's been times when i felt like maybe funko should kind of phase that out but then some of them come out and they do look pretty good um so let me know your own thoughts about blacklight figures a lot of people have been saying that they want to see figures based on spider-man 2 and i 
I, th I think we all knew that they were on the way. People were just getting a little bit antsy waiting for those to show up. And now you see the four common figures here that are available for pre-order right now. We do have the Advanced Suit Spider-Man. I do like the look of that one. I might pick that up when I see it in store. We got this new Miles Morales, although I feel like it looks a little too similar to other Miles Morales pops that we've had before. So I don't know if I'd go for that one. I really like the look of this Venom. That's an absolute must for my collection. I'm a big fan of Venom. And the Craven is all right. I'm not sure whether I would get that one or not. But again, these four common figures are available to pre-order right now. Definitely let me know what you think about these. Now, I do want to point out, I know this advertisement says Spider-Man 2 on it. I think that's just because this figure is releasing alongside the other ones. But when you look at the box, it does just say Spider-Man, you know, relating to the first game. So this suit is from the first game. It's the Entertainment Earth exclusive, the Velocity suit figure here that has a May release. And I do like the look of that figure. I think that's pretty cool looking there. Uh, Funko.com is getting another exclusive symbiote, symbiote suit. Peter Parker. They've had one previously. This one is different in terms of design. Um, you know, so you got to decide for yourself whether or not it's worth going for it. A lot of people, I don't think, got that first one, though. That first one was pretty tough to get, so this one may be more readily available. We'll see what happens with it, though. But it's going to be with Funko.com. That means we don't know exactly when it's going to be available. Just be on the lookout for it. Now this Miles Morales figure, this is a suit that you get late in the game. Um, I think it's actually the last one that unlocks for him because it is story related. I think it does look better as a pop. I saw somebody else say this in the comments as well. I totally agree with them. I wasn't crazy about it when I saw it in the game. I was kind of like, oh, like why? <laughs> you know, but seeing it as a figure, I think it does look better. So yeah, I might actually end up picking this pop up. That is a GameStop exclusive that has a late May release. And I have shared rumors previously with Spider-Man 2. So we could see some more figures on the way like Scream and the anti-Venom suit, um, Peter Parker. You know, we'll see what happens with those rumors in the near future. Now, Wolverine's 50th anniversary pops. I've been talking about these for a while with the rumors. Um, you see that we have this kind of standard yellow and blue suit Wolverine. The Wolverine Fatal Attractions, I do like that reference there. That's a reference to when Magneto actually pulled the adamantium out of his body. It actually looked a lot more painful in the comic itself, but this is a pretty cool looking figure. I like that they did another Old Man Logan. The other original one is cool, and I do have that one in my collection, but I like this one a little bit more because he does have the hat on, and he is in a different stance as well, so I could see adding that one to my collection and then of course we also have a new weapon x pop i think the original one was a target exclusive i'm not 100 percent sure about that one it's in my collection somewhere though but yeah these are the wolverine 50th anniversary common figures that you can pre-order with various retailers and then Funko.com is getting two exclusive items. They're going to get the Battle Damage Wolverine, which I really like the look of that. I could see adding that to my collection. And I also like this Wolverine and Sabretooth two-pack, so I could see picking that up as well. Of course, no dates for these particular items here, but be on the lookout for them. And when they do become available, I will probably you know do a community post because, like I said, I'm going to be on the lookout myself. I do want to add these into my personal collection. Here we have pops based on Percy Jackson and the Olympians. There's just three figures right now for that series. And then you also see here the new Sleeping Beauty pops, which have some really nice designs to them. Very colorful figures as well, of course. Again, these are all common figures that are available for pre-order right now with various retailers. And then I know Harry Potter fans always are looking for more from Funko. And of course, we had this full new wave here. A lot of uh, interesting um, designs here in the mix. And of course, very cool references to the books and the movies as well. Of course, mainly to the movies. We know the pops are mainly um, based around the movies, of course. But yeah, very cool looking figures here. These are all available for pre-order with various retailers. And of course, I do have to point out the Harry Potter and Buckbeak pop ride that you see here to the left and then also Albus Dumbledore with Podium as well again these are also common items that you can pre-order right now I never watched the Rocket Power series myself, but I've seen a lot of people um, over the years in the comments saying that they hope Funko will do figures based on that series. So we do have two here now. There you know, could be more in the future. We'll see what happens. But we do have two right now that are available for pre-order. Um, Ren and Stimpy, of course, Funko has done Ren and Stimpy previously, but we got them in their spacesuits now. I do like the look of these, so I can see adding these to my collection. I wonder if Funko will um, do a two-pack, uh, put them together at some point. I really would prefer a two-pack, actually, but don't know if that's going to 
gonna happen or not. I think Jimmy Neutron turned out pretty well here, this particular figure. Um, I've never watched Jimmy Neutron, but I, I like that design so much, I might potentially add that to my collection. And then of course, the Wild Thornberries. Um, we know that Funko has done the Wild Thornberries previously, but we got these two new figures here of Donnie and Eliza. So yeah, all in all, I think these figures have some really nice designs to them. Again, they're all common figures that you can pre-order right now. And if I learn about any other figures related to these particular properties on the way, of course, I will share them in the future. Now the what if season two pops, I know a lot of people have been on the lookout for these because we already have some sodas, of course, based on, based on um, what if season two. I'm not really sure you know why the pops are um, not potentially releasing until the fall. We'll see what happens with that though, if this is even accurate. It'd be nice to see them sooner, but you know, if we gotta wait till the fall, it is what it is. Um, so we could get a Sakarian Iron Man. That would be the main figure that I think I would wanna add to my collection. I really like that design. I like that storyline, just the fact that, you know, Tony could have left, but he decided to stay there and actually help out Sakar. I thought that was a very cool storyline. So, and I like the look of the Sakarian Iron Man. So yeah, really looking forward Forward to adding that to my collection we could also get infinity captain carter kaori and goliath goliath would be cool to see and um the freak <laughs> happy hogan um i didn't realize they called him the freak but you know it is what it is basically this hulked out version of happy hogan and you know there could be more based on what if season two we'll see what happens and it's kind of crazy that there's already season three on the way but um i'm enjoying the what if series let me know what you think about it so far i'm enjoying it there are some you know, some kind of weak episodes here and there, but overall, I find it to be very entertaining, and especially the second season, I thought they had some great action throughout. Now, with My Hero Academia, I'm not familiar with this character, but we could get this 10-inch dragon character here on the way in the near future, and I have seen some other anime rumors, but I'm pretty sure I've covered them already in other recent videos, so if you're new to Funko News, my Funko News videos, do make sure you check out the other recent videos for some more rumors about anime figures and, you know, with some other properties as well, of course. So that's why there's not a lot of rumors this time, because just some of the rumors I see floating around, I know that I have covered them already. Um, in recent videos. I hope that you all got something out of this video. Let me know what you saw that you're interested in adding to your collection. If you did some pre-orders, let me know what you decided to go ahead and pre-order. Let me know what you've been seeing in stores recently as well. Thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you drop a like on the video to show support. Share the video if you think it's going to help out other collectors, and I will talk to you all again real soon.